Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, we will be learning how to create how to create this um, kind of procedural buildings. And as you can see, when we increase the number of windows, the the building grows, and the windows change randomly. We can also add other details and it will pick from entire collection so you can add as many variations of the items you want to add as you want and also we are using a procedural texture for the windows to make them different and well let's get started Okay, so we will start by making the model for one floor of the building. You can make it uh, in any shape you want. I will make it simple to demonstrate. I will select this part to make uh, to assign a different material than the rest of the building. It will have a slot for the kind of the part that separates each floor and one for the wall. On this case I'm using a brick texture to make a simple material. I have to change the UV. For the other part, uh, we are using a super simple material. Okay, now so each part that we create, the each window and different objects will will need will be assigned to a vertex on this building. So we have to create the the vertex to. Uh, that will I mean, in the in the regions that we want the objects to be placed. So I will start with the windows. Now select all the vertices that are going to have a window on, on them and create a new group. Name them whatever you want, but window is a good idea. <laughs> Assign the vertices. And now I will create one for the details. Uh, you can do as many as you want and as many groups as you want also. So we select these ones. And we assign them to a new group. When I did this, uh, when I added this new look at uh, that bird is vertex also was uh, added to the to the window group because it was in the middle of the, the two vertex that were already on the group so later I will realize that and change it but uh, I will let you know Okay, so we add an array on the C-axis and for now we will just leave it at uh, three floors. Now we have to create all the, the different variants for each place. For example, for the windows in this case I will create two, two different 
models. You can create as many as you want. Have in mind that the origin point is the the object origin is the point that will be um, in contact with the building. Right? The, the point that is used to place the object. For the windows we are also using two slots, one for the for the window and one from for the the um, lights inside. We are using the random to get a, a different number for each instance of the object that will give us uh, different uh, lights for each of the windows now I will duplicate this and create uh, uh, one that is uh, a bit different so you can not uh, see the difference you can do whatever you want this is important we press M and move the the windows to a collection called windows and we are creating two different super simple uh, objects as details This will also go to a separate collection called details to later refer to them. And now we select the building and we create a new particle system. We will set it to hair, change the amount to, in my case, I have, um, I have uh, eight per floor. So this is uh, 24 uh, windows. Change the length to one meter. Source to <coughs> vertices. And check random. Click advanced. Rotation, change this to normal. Render collection, set the scale to one, pick random, select the, in this case, uh, windows, don't panic. <laughs> Select the density windows. And this is uh, what I told you before that the vertex in the middle 
uh, corresponding to the details is also in the window uh, vertex group. I will fix it now. By clicking on a vertex group and clicking the select button, all the corresponding vertices will be selected. That way we can check the if there's there are anyone that doesn't belong there or we won't we don't want there. So I'm uh, removing the ones that uh, are from the detail group. Here I decided to change a bit the, <coughs> the windows textures. As you can see now we have the two different models and also the texture is uh, changing the color uh, depending on, on the window. The light is different because of the random value. We will now create a new particle system for the details. We will create a copy of the previous particle system to avoid having to change everything again. So pick the, the same one here and then choose a single user to create a, a, a copy and now you can change the values without affecting the, the other particle system. We will have to change uh, the density In this case, is uh, details. This. Then, on the render, we change this to details too. And now we have the objects here. And I did the objects uh, on the run direction, so I will go to edit mode and rotate them 180 degrees on the c-axis and <coughs> move it a bit to to be sure that the origin point it's like on the back of the object where it will be like like plugged to the to the building We also have too many details or more details than the amount of vertices on the group, so uh, we have overlapping and we have to change the number to something equal or lower than the vertices we have in the group. Now we can manage the number of uh, floors with the array and the number of windows with and details with the particle system and you can do this manually but uh, I will show you also to teach you something else how to make it with drivers right click then the number of particles and choose copy as new driver go to the array and select uh, paste driver on the count for now is taking the same number so it's taking the 24 particles and uh, creating the the same number of, of steps for the array but we will change that so we have one 
one floor for every eight windows. So what you have to do is to go to the array and on the count click uh, edit driver. We will change the type to scripted expression and on the count we will uh, divide this by 8. It won't be perfect because we will have some uh, overlapping when when we we don't have enough windows to to have a, another floor but it's a cool way to to just do this and you can do it always manually if you want if you want uh, something perfect If you want to duplicate the building, you have to have in mind that the particle systems are like materials and uh, they are shared by the objects un unless you, you set them as a single user. So if you duplicate it and change something on one particle system, it will change on both buildings. So to make it independently, you have to select each of the new <coughs> particle systems from the new building and create this click this put button to make them uh, like a copy instead of the same an instance so select each one click this button and now they work independently you can change the uh, you you will have to change also the driver because in this case uh, is taking the the number from the old particle system you make sure you have the, the in this case 006 is the name of the particle system we have go to the driver edit driver and change here the particle to the to the corresponding 006 now it works perfectly again and you can change each of them individually so uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video